Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I am going to be showing you how I would do a full set of chunky glitter dips. Um, I'm not usually one to go full glitter, I understand that, but I got this color in called Joker from CN Designer Dips and it just kind of speaks to my heart. It is so gorgeous. It shifts between like a emerald green and a raspberry and some other colors in between. It's just perfect. So I'm going to do a full mani of this. Now for chunky glitters and for full foil dips, my preferred method of application is to find a dip that kind of matches the glitter and to do a full dip of that color as your base layer. That way, if you don't get full coverage with the glitter, you don't see bare nail through. Um, ideally, I do one dip of glitter if I can get the proper coverage, same with foil. And luckily, um, when I swatched this one, I could see that it does do that. So we are going to be only doing one dip of the glitter. If you have to do two of them to get full coverage, then um, you have to, but I prefer these glitters that have such a high glitter content that you don't have to really fuss. So I'm going to be using this um, little, little tiny cupcake liner I got from Dipped in Sparkle. She gives these in her orders and I love them. And I'm just going to kind of tap out so that I have a nice base of that glitter there. I'm going to put that to the side so we can use it when I'm done here. Now on my nails, I've, I have my Builder Gel extension. I've done layer of gel top coat over it then two layers of peel base and I've actually put one layer of dip base over the top of that since that first layer will dry really quick and I want to get a nice even full coverage dip of this as a base color so poison ivy by miss raven is what I'm going to be using because this green matches the glitter very well it's a beautiful green I have not used it yet and I need to so I'm going to go ahead and do just a single dip on each of these nails of this color. Okay, and come over back here, Mr. Glitter. So I've got this already laid out. I'm going to just paint the nail and lay it directly down into the glitter. going to tap a bit and then I'm going to come in with my dotting tool here and you're going to have a little like overhangers that um, hang out onto the cuticle. You can clean that up with your dotting tool. Sometimes you'll get um, a little bit larger, a little bit larger piece that's kind of hanging off the edge but is stuck in there so you can always grab a pair of of uh, nippers or tweezers, whatever you have available, and pull it off. And then just gonna come in here and press down. So you can use your finger for this. You can use um, like a, a Ziploc bag, a plastic bag to do this if you don't wanna get the glitter stuck to your finger because it will. I just use my finger because I don't want to waste bags. When you press down, you may have a little bit more that starts to overlap, so you can go around the cuticle again. Just make sure you are getting any overlappers. It will be larger, or I mean, it will be more difficult when there are even larger pieces. Luckily, this one doesn't have any really huge pieces, so it's not that tough. Just press down till it looks nice and clean, and you can see that one dip is going to be absolutely perfect for this. We don't have to worry about any more. Again, if you have pieces that kind of overhang there, you can even just take your nippers and use it to clip them, cut them so it's not overhanging, brush off any, any overhangers. And then when it comes to glitter that's stuck on your finger, you can just grab a little file kind of file it off. Okay, go into the next one. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes if you can see that you just have one little spot that, that is kind of sparse, you can just dab a little base in those areas and lay back in. That way you don't get a lot more bulk, which is what we're trying to avoid with these chunky glitters because they can bulk up very easily. And then you just get a couple more pieces of glitter in those spots that were missing. Okay, once you have all the glitter down and you're satisfied with the cuticle, making sure there's not too much overhanging or really causing you problems there, then you want to do a couple layers of clear dip. Now you want to make sure it is a good clear dip, one that is actually going to be clear clear and not muddy your glitter in any way. Because um, with some clears, two dips can do that. This isn't one of them. I'm using the double dipped clear. It is crystal clear. Uh, I like to do two dips on top of chunky glitters and on top of foils. That way I can really have my way with the file and have good control over the finished shape of the nail when it's all said and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two dips of clear over each of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate these and let them dry really well before I get into the filing step. Okay, for filing, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you um, how I file up the nail because it, it, the, the shape becomes a little more muddy with all these extra glitters and stuff. And this is my surefire way to get a nice clean shape. I always start up here in the top corner of the cuticle and you'll file a line straight down to the tip. Um, what kind of line it's going to be is going to depend on your shape for this shape. It's a slight curve so I'm just going to clean that up all the way making sure that I'm getting the side of the nail. Just, this Just filing the side wall to keep and clean the, the shape of the nail. And then also right along the tip, if you have a flat tip shape, you want to go ahead and file that. Make sure that stays nice and flat because there can be bulk added with the glitter. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I just clean up the rest of the cuticle area. Just kind of flattening it a bit there if it's too high up. Just making it nice and clean. And then we're going to shape the rest of the nail the top of it and I like to pull up from the sides not just straight across on the top pull up from the side so that it keeps that curved shape to the nail 
And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of these. And then we'll come back to finish them off. Okay, now we've got the shape filing done. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a once over with a bucking block just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, now we can activate and top coat. So chunky glitters, they can be pretty difficult. They can take a lot of work, but honestly, with the right process, with a really good clear dip and a willingness to file, uh, they're not all that bad. Anyway, thank you again, as always, for joining me, and I will see you next time.